What's going on y'all? Olympus Gaming back again with another discussion video. Like always with these discussion videos, these are not scripted. These are me directly to you talking directly to my mic and whoever's listening. So a topic that has been coming up in my Twitch streams for the past week has been the whole discussion of newer consoles being released, fanboys, console wars, and everything that comes with that. So right now we are in the midst of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X getting released. Hopefully with the whole pandemic, um, we will see these consoles still be released in the holiday season of 2020, but if not, hopefully soon. Um, but every time that this time of year comes around and people start to talk about the newer consoles being released, there's always this huge, huge debate on Twitter, whatever social media platform that you're on, typically with people going back and forth about what console they think are gonna be superior. Now, typically this is not a problem. This is not a new conversation. I remember when I was a kid, it was Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, or PlayStation versus N64. So these conversations has always existed. But when my problem comes into play is when people are verbally attacking someone personally over the console they choose to, you know, purchase. Now, the issue with this is typically the people who are attacking the other person has no experience with said console and they're just talking strictly out of emotion. And that's where it becomes problematic. So I understand that everybody wants to have an alliance with something. You know, if you grew up with Xbox and you love the Xbox brand, it's great to be passionate about that. But to say that PlayStation is outright garbage and, you know, the fans are this when you have no knowledge of the console yourself, that's what becomes an issue. I also see that a lot of consumers, and I say consumers because that's what we are. We are consumers of these products. Most of us that are watching the development of these consoles, we're not software engineers. So I hear all this talk about which console is the most powerful, which is going to offer the best graphics, and that's fine. But I rarely hear people talk about which console or what platform is going to offer the best experience. Now I get it. Hardware is going to open the door to allow for the possibility of a good a good experience we all know this so the, typically the more capabilities you have theoretically the more capabilities you have in your hardware the the more likely it is that you can get a more engaging experience but when we look take a look at nintendo with the nintendo switch and historically the wii u the wii whatever nintendo doesn't necessarily have the track record of being the most powerful console out but they are known for having the best experience. And that is what gaming to me is all about. It's all about these experiences. When I'm playing games like Last of Us, Uncharted, or even on the Xbox side, things like Gears of War, Halo, I do understand that the hardware is what makes all these games and stories possible. But you would have to say that every console has their advantages and disadvantages. And the sooner that we all realize that, the better off we're going to be, right? So there's no need to fight over which console is the best. <laughs> there's no need to attack each other over Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft. All these consoles can coexist. And yeah, I just want to get you guys' opinion on that. So if you have an opinion on the whole console war fanboy thing, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Typically, anytime that I talk about fanboys and console wars, usually I get a lot of hate in the comments, but that's okay. That's why we're having an open discussion. All right, guys, well, that's all I wanted to drop. Let me know down in the comments what you think, and I will see you guys next time for the next discussion video. Peace.